Hi guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in our previous tutorial, we have created two APIs through which a user was able to create a folder that is bucket in our case, and he was able to get all the list of uh, folders that he has created. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create an API through which a user will be able to upload any kind of file into a bucket that is a folder. Okay, so let's get started. So for this, we are going to make use of a library called as Multer. Okay, so it will be a kind of middleware that will help us in uploading a file in a particular folder. Okay, so let's get started. So here in the middleware, you can see, I will just create a file and let's name it as Multer middleware. Okay, so here we need to import three libraries. One is FX library, one is path library, and one is multi library. So in our previous tutorial, we have already installed all of those. Okay, uh, so let's import it. Okay, so these are the libraries that are required and i'm not going to type all the functions so i will just copy paste the code so that i can just shorten the video so you can just get the source code from my website protocoldaspoint.com so i will just share the link in the description okay so here i have created a function that will help us in uploading a file so let me explain you okay so here is a function named upload and it returns a multer with uh, which will store the data into a particular file that the user has defined for example you can see over here inside query i am just sending the user will send a folder name through which he want to store his file okay and here i just need to make change it to route root folder yeah one second okay so inside root folder if you want to upload the file in subdirectory one and he just need to send the folder name from the front end or else in uh, by making use of postman and inside this file the folder will the file will get uploaded okay uh, so this is the function that will help us in uploading the file to a destination okay by making use of callback functions and everything okay so you can just get this source code from my website okay and now this file let me save this file okay so now let's go to routes and let's create a route so we are uploading the file so i will just make use of post method upload file and here uh, we must import uh, authentication user authentication so this is the middleware okay and after uh, passing this uh, middleware that is uh, verifying the uh, api key that the user has sent uh, then the next task is to upload the files into a desired location okay so for that i must import this multer uh, middleware okay so let's import it over here okay so here require middleware multer okay so i can just do one thing so i can just add it in flower bracket so that uh, from this multer uh, file i want to import this function okay so i'm just adding it something like this okay so now here upload so this is the function upload dot single my file Okay, so now here uh, if request dot file okay so if request dot file has some data that means the file was successfully been uploaded to the uh, to the folder that is been given okay and now from here i will just give a response back to our user okay so i will just copy paste this code and i will just change the message as file successfully uploaded okay uh, so i just save the file so let me run this code and let's check if it is working or no okay so i will just go to my uh, postman okay so here so the api is file upload okay so the same thing is over here yeah correct so first of all we need to send a uh, api key of a user so let me open my mongodb 
so this is the api key api key and then to which folder i want to store the file okay so let me take sub folder one okay so to this sub folder one i want to upload my file so here we need to pass in form data in under body tag uh, form data here i need to upload a file okay so i'll just take one image from here okay and in parameter i am just passing this through parameters everything is correct so hit so file has been successfully uploaded i got a message so let's check if it was successfully uh, done or no okay so you can see the file has been successfully dumped into this folder okay so like this i can just change the uh, name of the folder and if i want to change the file i can just change it okay so we'll just do this thing okay upload it successfully okay so let me check yeah okay so the so it is working okay so now i want to record this file somewhere into my database so that uh, we can easily understand that this file has been uploaded by which user okay so for that i must uh, record it in my database so if you remember in my models folder i have created a uh, mongo schema where i am going to store user id the file name mime type of uh, uh, the uploaded file and the path where it has been stored okay so this all re uh, record i need to store into my database mongodb database okay so let's do it now okay so here uh, yeah. okay so here in this file so let me print this and let me show you so log request dot files so let me save this file run the code again okay and let me upload a file again okay so after uploading so you can see i have just printed a log over here and the, inside this log i have a uh, mime type of the data that has been uploaded that is image so i have uploaded an image uh, which destination the folder has been uploaded means the file has been uploaded the name that has been given to that file okay and the final path where is where it has been uploaded okay so here is all the data of that file that has been uploaded okay so i just need to store this data into my mongodb database okay so for that as you can see i have created a upload model that is the schema over here so let's make use of it and store it into this database okay so for that here cons upload model let require okay so here first of all let me uh, create a variable that will hold the file full path okay so here the file full path will be the destination plus the file name okay so the destination is you can see root navigated to folder name and then the file name okay so i just need to concat it so i can just make use of request dot files dot destination first one is the destination plus request dot file dot uh, the file name okay and now let's make use of let's create an object that will upload uh, store the data into our database okay so for that const uploaded data is equal to new upload model okay so here if you see the upload model so first data is user id we need to pass file name mime type and the path okay so the user id we will get it from the middleware you can see so inside this middleware we have added under request dot user uh, we have added all the data of a user okay so we can make use of it okay so user id request dot user dot underscore id okay and the second parameter is file name so the file name will come from request dot files dot file name this one okay 
and the third parameter is a third data is mime type which type of data it is request dot false dot mime type okay and the uh, last parameter is the path that is this one okay so upload schema model has been uh, object has been created so you just need to save this so, so to save this we can make use of await await upload data dot save okay so here it is giving me an error under uh, await key because this function is not a sync type okay so i just need to make it a sync Okay, so the data will get saved in our database and user will get a response something like this. Okay, so let me show this thing. Rerun the index file. Let's go to postman. Okay, so this time let me take some other image or okay. So I can just take yeah, so I'll just take this PDF file. Uh, we have already checked uh, this PNG file and everything it is working. So let's check if this is working or no. Okay, so I want to upload in folder 2. Okay, so this time I will just upload it into folder 3 which exists. Okay, so API key folder name that is folder subfolder 3. Okay, so upload was successfully done. Okay, so you can see there is no error okay so in folder 3 let's check yeah so the pdf has been uploaded successfully as you can see okay and now if i go to mongodb compost and refresh this okay so you can see in uh, in my database there is a one more collection called as upload and inside this we have all the data that has been uploaded by a user as you can see so we have uploaded a file that is pdf application mime type is pdf okay and this is the route to access the file okay so let me upload one more thing okay so i will just upload this image now so it's of type jpg upload successful okay you can see it was been successfully added okay and in database if i refresh so you can see jpg image has been uploaded successfully with the path okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol point thank you